to a boy savage 007 i'm going a night ride All right, I'll tell you a little bit about her. Conversion on both headlights. Those are usually off. You don't see that. These are LEDs, conversion on all around. Psychedelic wrap, chrome. Shorty is exhaust for sound and performance. Brake levers are all activated. You know, activate the red light on the uh, body kit. That way everybody knows you're stopping. You can change this to any color you like anyway. All right, so you got the turn signals in the back. Everything's got converted to LED, LED. Uh, when you do the turn signal here, of course, it goes to amber and then goes back to red. Front headlight, it's gonna go back to white. Those are headlights now. These are red tails. It's got the back off signal too. Right, see that? Got a light bar back there, all this. Get the strobe going to let everybody know the back off. No custom uh, seats. RC component wheels and uh, metal air performance tires. The chain has got a six inch extension, you know, to mitigate for that wheelie control a little bit. She can still wheelie anyway, but you know, you want a little stabilization. So I didn't go with a bigger, fatter tire. I stood with the 180 tire, the stock trim. That way I can turn pretty well and I don't have to worry about pushing too hard to lean and anything like that. Get the corner with her pretty well. My condolences to uh, Officer Adler from the Camden County Police Department. He was riding recently. I went down and unfortunately he didn't make it. Needless to say, you know, guys, be careful out there when you're riding. Try to be as careful as possible. Some things are out of our control, but make those chances a lot less likely to happen. Right now I'm on a 45, 55 mile an hour road. You know, I'm doing close to 60, but this is more of a highway road, but there's no cross traffic. You know, if you want to do it, speed up a little bit, it's all right, but do it on highway roads. Don't do it on, you know, residential streets. A lot of times they don't see you guys, no matter how big you are. You know, this is a big bike and I still think that they can't see me with the light kit and everything on it. It's not their fault sometimes, you know, but the reality is that many of times they just can't see you guys. Like, I'm preparing right now in case that goes red, but I'm also like decreasing my speed because I know the light's going to change. You know, nobody's going to hate you. Nobody's going to hate you for catching the light and sitting there. Like, that, that, that's not gonna make you look like a newbie rider, or that's not gonna make you look bad. There's a news flash, nobody cares. You don't have to go through the light and show off, you know, cause that, that could be your life right there, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I do love my little pools and stuff like that, and, and I have fun with the bike, but by all means, that light is red. I'm gonna try to stop before I get to it. You know, I'll slow down. I seen that the bike, that the light just went green, but doesn't mean I got to speed at it. But somebody could be eating that light. You could avoid so much potential hazards on, you know, by just practicing safe riding. Many years of riding and I've been out on the road for a long time and the way I've done it is by just simply slow down. You see, somebody could be eating this light right here. Once I get past it, I know it's safe. Yeah, I'll do my little pull. You know, I get on the highway. You want to, you know, you want to open up the bike. You can. You know, well, I'm enjoying this night out today. It's my only night riding actually this week. It's been raining like hell here in Jersey. It's always raining out here. It's kind of sucks. But you know, finally get a day to ride. It's a little hot and humid. It rained a little bit earlier. You know, so I'm not gonna go too hard on the bike right now. I'm very bad, like maybe quarter throttle a little bit. You know, I'm not going too hard because, you know, you can actually like, you can feel like that rear wheel spin a little bit, you know, even though I do have the proper air on that back tire. 
check that tire pressure don't make it too hard see this light is getting ready to change on me five four three two There goes the cops right there, they're, wait, they're waiting. Even though I could do a, a pull, gotta leave them like, you know, they'll never catch up, but. Am I gonna try to do that? Am I gonna, gonna try to fuck with the police? No. You and him by yourself, guys. What do you got to prove? You know, those guys, look, there's another one right there. You know, we've been pulling through here, all they gotta do is radio up ahead and they'll block the road on my ass, and you're just running for them, you're just like, running away from them an extreme speed you know and needless to say that that, that could be a demise right there guys oh, i love riding this bike this thing is just amazing i just gave it a nice oil change i cleaned the entire clutch out inside and out you know uh did that i did the gear shift indicator there that was that uh, was starting to go bad <laughs> it was an older one but this is a gentle deucer but it's got you know a good amount of miles on it oh, look at the prices there 4.49 damn and that's regular i put super in this i always put super on my motorcycle you know to keep the engine you know running a little cleaner you could feel the power Definitely better power. Much better power you're gonna feel. The bike is like it's like you're not even giving it throttle, it just wants to go on you, yeah. She just like pulls. Way better. I mean like and plus, you know, your injectors run cleaner. You know, if you could do something nice for your bike, you know, and keep things cleaner and running better, by all means do it. You know, this bike has been running like perfect for me for like years now. And it's never given me any trouble and it's because of things like that this bad motorcycle particularly has a window that you could see the oil and i go by that too if the oil is looking a little bit dark i'll change it right away well if you don't have a bike with a window on it you can't tell what's in the engine get a white piece of paper or a paper towel better yeah the paper towel is much better roll it up into like a looking like a stick open up the oil cap and then stick it in there a couple times and, and look at it you'll see the color because the paper towel is white number one and it'll give you more of an accurate color but if it looks like iced tea and whatnot you know you're good you got more mileage okay even if you are at a thousand miles you know that that oil is running nice and clean <laughs>